So but the ones I'm doing here first, we're really looking at the lumbar erectors. Oh, wow. And if you look to your left, you'll see Dr. Brady doing the gritty. Brady! <laughs> <laughs> Michael. I try to make it feel seamless. That is nice. To go back to the anatomy I was talking about earlier, mm -hmm. I'm first going to dry needle her levator scap. Um, I'm also going to get up her trap too because it, it's layered um, and with the needle you're going to penetrate both. So I come up really high. I find, I find the spinous process. I slide a little lateral. I know I'm on the transverse process. You okay with that Sabrina? Yes. Okay. And just because she has a little bit of that bilateral pain, I'm going to do it on each side. But I'm at least going to try to address these first four cervical vertebrae with a needle. Nice. Mm. You felt that one? That's a zinger. That was a zinger. So as is pretty typical, that was another huge one actually. Ooh. Huge zinger. So I'm, I'm really confident that that was actually like a levator scap trigger point because I could feel her twitch kind of down there too. That was crazy. That was crazy. So it turns out your levator scap is, is legitimately irritated. Okay. So that's... That's the upper part of the levator scap, and then I come in here, I find the superior margin of the scapula. Where is she at here? Yeah. And so the levator scap inserts right around the corner of the scap, just superior to the spine of it. So I'm gonna be careful to sink a couple right. Nice. Right where I know the levator scap lives. Perfect. And then I'm going to slide just a little superior. And I know this is still upper trap, maybe partially mid trap. But certainly mid trap as I get into this region. I'm also going to get her trapped on the contralateral side just because she's dealing with some stuff there. Another huge trigger point on that left trap. Okay, so I'm really comfortable with the needles we have in Sabrina right now. Um, I peppered all the major muscles. If I was feeling adventurous, I might even sink a couple in the SCM, but I'm comfortable that I addressed it with the PNF and soft tissue work in the room. So I think I'm just gonna leave it at levator scap trap and um, what else did I do? Like levator trap, scapula, levator scapula, trap. Okay, yeah, I got him. Um, <laughs> so she's gonna cook for 10 minutes. Um, and this is how we would treat a acute torticollis. If this is something that you have or something that you feel like happens to you regularly, it usually happens to women more than men, although men can get it too. So, but the ones I'm doing here first, we're really looking at 
the lumbar erectors. Oh, wow. And if you look to your left, you'll see Dr. Brady doing... So, finding her spinal process, going about one body inch laterally to that, to the, the meat of the muscle. Ew, that's just nasty how you describe that. And then, find her 12th rib. Find the top for iliac crest. You're gonna feel a nice little band of tissue. That's where your QL sits. Even more laterally to your spinal erectors. You. That was a good one. Yeah. We're just going to mirror that on the left side here. <coughs> Kelly, what does dry needling feel like to you? Um, What's the sensation you get when you get dry needled? Uh, this is a um, hard question. I always say it's like kind of like deep pressure. Sure, you say just, that, but what does it feel like to you? To me? Yeah, to you. Oh my gosh. Um, well, like the initial little zinc of the needle kind of feels like a pinch. Okay. But then like when it's going in, it just feels like a weird, I don't even know how to describe it, like a deep pressure-y, someone is pushing on you like really, really hard. Okay. And then when you stop moving it, I don't feel it anymore. But sometimes they're worse. And that one's more like a sharp, deep pressure. Like that one was a little zingy, like a little sparky so, little thing. With tissue that's not as tonic, you'll get that report of a deep pressure or like someone's really pushing in with a thumb on you through that tissue. Yeah. Through areas with a little bit more active trigger points that are kind of hypoxic, you get more of a, a sharp grab or a muscle twitch. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. We're looking to, to stimulate some blood flow to those those trigger points and kind of help break them apart. How are you doing with those? Rocking with them. You good with them? Yeah. Cool. So we're going to let Kaylee cook here for 10 minutes, and then um, we'll be back for the, the laser therapy. Yeah. All right, so what I'm doing now, I'm palpating for those trigger points. I set the needle here, pinch the trap, just so I'm able to get that ball muscle, and I keep feeding it through. And just like that, the first one's in there. We talking banana pepper, we talking jalapeno. The amount of, okay. We're not in the skill level yet. What's the, um... The scoville unit, or? Yeah, like, what's that spicy? Uh, ghost pepper? Yeah. Yeah. Carolina Reaper. Is that, is that hotter? Done okay so far. Uh -huh. right, we're going into the trap there. Now we'll be going into that elevator. Right on the D of made. Hmm. <laughs> so what we're trying to do with these needles is break up those trigger points and all that tension that's being held in that musculature there. Yeah, good. Doing okay still. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yeah, that was good. Where's that? Ah, uh, it's the upper trap. Sometimes, if you get lucky, you'll get these twitches in the muscle. Now, it's all based on the tunicity of the muscle there. Okay. I haven't had a big jumper yet, but. No. That's because you've been doing your stretches. Yeah, I'm telling my doctor's orders. <laughs> awesome. Is there anywhere else that's uh, been tight or restricted or painful for you? My cherry's minor. Absolutely. Everything on the left side. All right, let us know if you need us then. Thanks, Dr. Absolutely. So um, we're gonna needle her left QL, quadratus lumborum. Uh-oh. And we're gonna do the right side lumbar rectors and the deep multifidi. So we'll start left side. And then um, we'll transition over, sound good? Yeah. So QL <laughs> runs in the space of your 12th rib up to the very top of your iliac crest. And it attaches the, the, the TPs of some of the lumbar vertebrae. So what we wanna do is we're gonna find that 12th rib right there for her. We're gonna go just south of it, find that line of tension within the QL. Okay, that one wasn't bad. Good. <laughs> yep, I already can tell. Jeez. How come you touching it already caused stuff? Say again? How come you touching it already caused stuff? Me touching it caused stuff? Mm hmm. What do you mean? Pain. Not pain. pain. Like, I can feel it. Like, dull achiness. Because the pressure I was putting through it is enough just to. Kind of bring it to your consciousness. Your consciousness. You kind of focus on that. Gross. That's why you see all those bodybuilders. Maybe you, you haven't seen it. Probably not. But you might see it on YouTube. When people are working out, they're, um, they'll have the buddy, their spotter, whoever they're working out with. They'll um, say they're doing chest. And the guy's on the bench press and he's, he's, he's repping out some, some reps and you see his buddy kind of like tap his, his pecs. So that's, oh. he's, he's providing information for the guy lifting to really kind of focus in on the area or the muscle he's wanting to um, target the most. So weird. So just for the sheer fact of poking on it. Oh my god. Made her consciously aware of it. I'll meet you on the other side and we'll get you out of here, okay? Alright. So with the erectors and the multifidi. Through this area, we're using just a slightly longer needle. We're trying to get those deep spinal stabilizers, AKA the multifidi, with these. So we need a, a little bit longer needle to reach those muscles. In most situations, we're driving all the way down to the bone. Mm -hmm. Great. Of course, they can't feel that. Sure. They can feel the pressure of the needle splitting through the muscle fibers, but they don't know we're hitting bone. Now I do. You do now, because I told you, but that's cheating, right? No. Good. Mm. Death. 
Yeah, that one's a good one. <laughs> Winner. Chicken dinner. Give me one more. Go to your heart desires. I don't see that. You look like a porcupine. Mmm. Yay. All right. Kaylee, can you handle those? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wonderful. So we're going to check back here in 10 minutes when she's done cooking. Kaylee's done cooking. I'm going to take the needles out. And we're going to get her on the rehab floor. What? Yeah, isn't that right, Kaylee? No, we're not. Yes, we are. No way. So whether she likes it or not, Kaylee responds pretty well to McKenzie's. Oh, you're doing me dirty. So she has a history of some, some disc irritation in her low back. Oh, sorry. So naturally so, the way, um, the way we approach that, we do a lot of dry needles for that issue because it's very effective, but what's even more effective because the patient can do it on their own is McKinsey's. So her homework mm. is gonna be to do lumbar McKinsey's outside of here as much as she can, right? Especially <laughs> before workouts and heavy leg days, hey, right, Kaylee? Say yes. You just be lucky. I stretch and roll out before uh -huh. I and you're work out. And as a part of a warm up, you're gonna do McKinsey's. Which ones? Lumbar. What other no, ones? No, like yeah, version. the press ups. You know which one works best for you. Stubborn, you know. Thumbs down. But um, that's it for the video. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. I myself personally read them and answer them. You do? I do. It's fun. I love them. All right, that's it for today's video. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Dr. Alice, take us out. What? <laughs> <laughs>